Former Steeler quarterback Terry Bradshaw recently disclosed he's dealing with memory loss and other problems from repeated concussions he suffered during his football career. And Patrice, it's not just NFL players, but both college and high school players also have problems with concussions. And there's uh, one teen who knows the effects of the injury firsthand is trying to raise awareness about the danger. Concussions are a known risk of playing contact sports in high school, but many people don't know the signs and what to do. Last January, I suffered my third concussion in four years, and I, this happened during the district final soccer game. 16-year-old David Goldstein, a sophomore at Ransom, is helping educate athletic directors and trainers from Miami-Dade Public High Schools. My hands instantly go to my head. I wasn't I knew something was wrong, but it was the biggest soccer game I'd ever played in my life, and I loved being out there. I wanted to represent my school. So he kept playing that day and the next and suffered symptoms for months. My head was killing me. I was nauseous. I was dizzy. My balance was off. Didn't want to be in light, didn't want to hear be loud. Um, I was sensitive to sound. And I have to memorize what it looks like. The impact test is a huge part of the new countywide concussion care program. It's an online brain function test. All high school athletes will take before playing. If they suffer a head injury, they are retested with that same computerized testing that analyzes anything of a slow reaction time. Anything you did in the initial test is analyzed to where you are after an injury. The results will be sent to Dr. Jillian Hotz, Director of Kids Neuroscience at UHealth Sports Medicine. David's mother wants other parents to know what she learned the hard way. To know the signs of a concussion, to know that continuing to play will worsen the symptoms and effects on your child. David, who now wears head protection, raised the $35,000 to fund the concussion program. Palmetto Senior is one of only two high schools already doing impact testing. The others will start in April with the football players, so they're ready to go when spring practice begins in May. Football players can experience as many as 15 concussions during their high school, college, and professional careers. But Kevin, what about the helmets? Don't they protect the players? They do, but only to a certain extent. Unfortunately, it looks like that uh, there's no helmet out there right now that completely protects people from concussions. Serious problem.